Dodgers yeah. won. That, that, this wasn't even a baseball season. <laughs> Add insult to injury. It wasn't even a baseball season. Dodgers won the World Series. This was Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, dude. It's of course with Dodgers suck. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. It's That's so it. oh, juicy. Regardless of it, they're the biggest chokers in the history of baseball, other than the Boston Red Sox. Well, they didn't choke this year. This wasn't a real season. Oh my God. You, you want me to go off on how this was? I didn't even watch one baseball game this season because it was a joke. No one cares. And today we are going to be reacting to a video. Of? Of? Corbin dancing naked. Uh, nope. Types. Thank God. This is a, I think it's the same one that explained Rog, but I could be wrong. I think it's types of Indian musical instruments. And it's the same. I think people? so. I could be wrong. Okay. okay, anyway, that's awesome. That's the one that explained Rod. She was wonderful. You can tell teacher. me if I'm wrong. Uh, You're wrong. Yeah, it's her. It's her, right? Yeah. Um, Yay. Yeah, she was such a great teacher. She was, and so this is uh, Indian musical instruments. Awesome. Types of classification. Sweet. So it'll be an educated video for us, so we aren't stupider. This is fun. Here we go. Hey, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Indian Music Fact Files with me, Anuja Kamal. I have observed that when it comes to Indian classical music, people are likely to attend instrumental concerts rather than vocal concerts. For this reason, I have planned to dedicate this episode of mine to the beautiful world of Indian music instruments. Well, there are many, many, many Indian music instruments and if I introduce you to each one of them, I think it will take me ages to do so. And uh, we need to end this episode somewhere, right? So. I will be introducing you all to those instruments which uh, you are likely to uh, come across frequently. She in could say, Indian music and I'm going to murder your family tonight and you'd be smiling. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, cool. prepared, let's move on to understanding the types of Indian music instruments and their classification. A musical instrument can be classified into various types. But in case of Indian music, the most accepted classification is the one proposed by Rishi Bharat who mentions four categories of instruments. The first one being Tantu Vadya. These are the instruments having strings. In Western music, they are called chordophones. Can you identify the sound? I've heard of it. Yes, it is the sound of a tanpura, which is a drone instrument in Indian classical music. It is only an accompanying instrument that is, it cannot be played for a solo performance. Aww. Further, the Tantu Vadya can be categorized into Tata Vadya or Nakhaj Vadya, meaning instruments played with the help of fingernails. Popular examples of Tata Vadya are instruments having frets, like Veena. So just because it has frets, it's played with the fingernails? There are also instruments without frets, like saru. Okay, there you go. The next type of tantu vadya are vitat vadya or string instruments played with a bow. Popular examples of these are sarangi. And I think we've seen every one of these instruments in a Tashar Lal video. <coughs> Can a string instrument be played without being plucked by the fingers, struck by the nails, or without the help of a bow? Yes, indeed. Hammers, like hammer dulcimers. This was the sound of santur, which is a string instrument played by striking the strings with a spoon-shaped hammer. The second major category is that of Sushir Vadya 
or the wind instruments. In western music, they are called aerophones. This was the sound of a shank or a conch, mm -hmm. which is a natural sushir vadya. The most popular mouth blown sushir vadya is the basuri. It is an Indian flute without reeds. There is also the shahnai. It is a mouth blown sushir vadya with reeds. With time, there emerged a new category of sushir vadya which used bellows to blow air mechanically to produce sound. The prime example of this is a harmonium. The third major category of instruments is Avanad Vadya or Charmaj Vadya. They are called as drums or membrophones according to western music. They contain a layer of animal skin which helps in sound production. Some Avanad Vadya are played by using palms and fingers. Example, Carnatic instruments like Mridangam, Tabla, Next, there was somewhere in there, I would assume. And Kanjira. Mm -hmm. We also have Hindustani instruments like Pakhavaj. instruments are played by striking the skin with sticks or hammers, for example, the Tsaughada. And the Dhol. I recognize all of them. Hello, Yeah. The final category is that of Ghanavadya. They are called idiophones according to western music. The body of these instruments is made of a solid material like metal, clay or wood. They do not need further tuning. Most of them are used as side rhythm instruments. Prime examples of these instruments are Carnatic instruments like ghatam. Mm -hmm. And more sing. I don't think we've seen that one. No, but you have in Louisiana. You know, like in the deep <laughs> south, that's a common, okay, it's not that is, instrument, it's uh, comparable. Manjira. And Kartal. Stay please. If you observe, you'd notice that the melodic instruments fall in the category of either Tantu Vadya or Sushir Vadya, while the rhythmic instruments fall in the category of either Avanad Vadya or Ghana Vadya. You might also ask, what about the instruments like synthesizer and electronic Tanpura and Tabla? Well, we could classify them into the category of electronic instruments. I'm sure if Rishi Bharat would have been present today, he would have done the same. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, now that you know about the types, the classification, the sounds of some Indian music instruments, let me tell you a quick fact. Did you know, during the ancient times, the term veena was used to refer to all melodic instruments. The human voice too was considered a type of veena and was called gatra veena, meaning bodily veena or daivi veena, meaning God gifted Veena. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you liked this video and it was informative enough. For those who are looking out for some more information on the topic of Indian music instruments, you can refer to my blog. I have shared the link of my blog in the description area under this video. 
well if you appreciate my effort then please do like comment and uh, share the video and do subscribe to my channel i wish to see you all in my coming episodes till then peace be with I like her videos. Yep. Very educational. Yep. Uh, and entertaining. Stay yeah. engaged. One, the muscle I was animated. No. So that's doubly impressive. Yes. That she was able to, I don't know if she hired somebody or if she did it herself, but it was very good animation. Very good. Uh, and it was really cool that uh, not only well, all that we learned, but we knew most of the instruments. Yeah. We've been exposed to the majority of those. For the two years we've been yep. exposed to, or at least... Like, I, obviously, I wouldn't know the name. No. Well, I can, I, I can recognize the sound of it. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know what sound this gun makes when it, like, when, like, uh, I messed it up already. It's all right. You know the sound it makes when it kills somebody or something like that. This is one line from, like, a... What's it from? Um, I think it's from, like, a... What's his face? Um, Eastwood? Yeah, Clint Eastwood. <laughs> I love that you... That's amazing. You know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is. That was really cool, though. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Uh, Very I, I enjoy her, her videos. You know what I didn't know prior to us reacting to things? And this is coming from somebody who grew up with music and is a musician. I didn't realize there were so many instruments in Indian music. Yeah. Really did think it was as simple as just sitar. like versions of a sitar, versions of a tabla, and things like that. Makes sense, though, obviously. Yeah. The world's oldest culture yeah. and music has been around since the beginning of humans. Yeah. And I guess some animals. Oh, and I know we just scratched barely a, a fingernail clipping of the surface of the whole body of what the instrumentation is that's available in India. They have a lot of <laughs> instruments. Remember the one we reacted to where everything was made out of clay? Mm hmm And like they can break and... There's the ones with the glasses and the cups all over. Yeah, we yeah. did. I, I think that video got blocked. I don't think it's oh, ever, ever saw the channel. That's but a shame. We did a video. I think I forget which. It was one where he was playing the. They were they were for lack of a better term, they were little cups, mm -hmm. but they were made of clay, and they were talking about the process and how they have to dry. It's weird what videos get blocked. Yeah, it really is. Like, why wouldn't you want that to be seen? That, I don't. That know. was just a video about a guy explaining his instrument. Yeah, that we'd never seen. That I think Tashar is the one who turned us on to that. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it got blocked. Yep. Anyway, shows you great. Let us know other uh, videos of hers that we can react to down below. Tukma, that's <laughs> <laughs>